Pilots for Christ, a nonprofit organization, provides life-saving flights for critical patients. Thank you, Pilots for Christ. We're here in Phoenix, and we're going to Tucson for our special Anat Banyel therapy. We had a great flight, and we're looking forward to a great trip. That is from Pilots for Christ's Facebook page. Joining me right now is Rosalind Sales with Pilots for Christ. Rosalind, thank you for being with us. Thank you so much, Nancy, for having us. Ro I, I want to understand, Rosalind, what does Pilots for Christ do? We fly time-critical patients uh, throughout the country and don't charge a dime for it. We do it to show the love of Christ. And how did you get started? It started in 1994 um, as a chapter of Pilots for Christ International. And um, two pilots decided that they wanted to do this and it got started and they bought an airplane and we've been going ever since. How long have you been working with Pilots for Christ? I've been uh, with this organization for two years. And what type of patients do you fly around? We actually, the majority of patients that we fly are uh, cancer patients. We average two to three flights a week from our home base of Monroeville, Alabama, and we cover the southeast, but we average two to three flights a week to Houston, Texas, out to MD Anderson uh, because cancer is so prevalent uh, right now. And then our second most frequented flight is to St. Jude's in Memphis. And then from there, it's the Mayo Clinics for specialized care. Wow. With me is Rosalind Sales, the PR Director of Pilots for Christ, who give their time and their energy to flying critically ill patients for free. With me is Joe Scott Morgan, death investigator. How critical is this type of service? It's it's unfathomable uh, as, as far as the benefit. Right now, I just want to say I've got a family member that is dying of cancer. And she's been fighting this battle for a long time. And she's been going to MD Anderson. And it's because of people like Pilots for Christ that reach out to people that don't have the means that can transport them. It's, you can't put a value on this. There's so many people that are out there well, hurting. you know, in of Joe Scott, um, our friend of the show, Aaron DeChara, is fighting cancer, a, a brutal and aggressive cancer at MD Anderson. She has been away from her home, from her children now since July, and has been too weak to travel. And there is no way, Joe Scott, that she could have gone through the airport and been exposed to all of those germs and everything else and lived. If she gets sick, she'll die. She has no ability, no immune system whatsoever to fight anything. There's Erin right there with her daughter. She's got a twin boy and girl. And they contacted Pilots for Christ, and they said, sure, we'll help you. You know, I want to go back to Rosalind Sales, the PR director for Pilots for Christ. When you work with these people, when you help them get back to their family, and they are facing death, they are looking down the wrong end of the barrel, straight at death every day, fighting, as you say, mostly cancer. What have you learned? I've learned that there are some tremendously strong people out there with tremendous faith in our Savior, Jesus Christ. And it is, an, it is a humbling and amazing thing to watch. Uh, they're stronger than we are. Uh, in their battle. They make us better people just having the opportunity to be around them and to be able to share what we get to share with them. With me is Rosalind Sales, the PR Director for Pilots for Christ, and on behalf of all the patients you transport, thank you. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you so much. Now, you know, somebody came through, a friend of Aaron's that had, like, that they know, somebody with a friend. Right, right. But what you had agreed to do touched me so much that I just, it just meant the world to me. Just the world. Well, this, thank I'll you tell for you, listening to God. I'll answer. tell you what just happens on our website. Yeah. Let's do a picture. Let me get myself oh, together. Right now. You were just gorgeous. You scared the yeah. daylight out of me. Why? Need to